Hey everybody, today's video is a viewer requested video. So I'm sure if you guys have been around the channel already, I've been doing a lot of videos on the P195 battery. So we're doing that again, but this time it's a high drain test between the new P195 compact and the older P191 battery. Before we begin, if you guys are new around here, my name is Edgar Martinez. I like talking about Ryobi tools, updates, new products are coming out, unboxings, reviews, and comparison videos just like this. So hit subscribe so you guys stay informed on all the new Ryobi content. So the high drain test is gonna be simple and easy. I got the six gallon vacuum over my shoulder here. We're gonna test both batteries, flip the switch on, start a timer, and just see which one dies out quicker. Both are three amp hour batteries, so in theory they should last Oh, about the same. One minor caveat, my older P191 battery is about, uh, is a few months old. I got it in uh, November or December of 2018. So it, you know, it has six, seven months of use already. On and off, nothing too crazy, versus the P195, which I got in March, I believe now, late March, early April, somewhere along that line. It's gotten some decent use here and there. So um, both batteries are under a year old. I just kind of wanted to give that as a caveat here for this test. So we'll see which of these two batteries drain the fastest. Here we go. Okay, so the first runtime test we're going to do is with the P191 battery. This is the older, more fatter, 3 amp hour HP battery. So we're going to put it in the shop vac and see how long it takes for it to run down. I'm going to put a timer here on my watch and um, I'll come back and give you the results. Here we go. Alright, we're going to start the stopwatch in 3, 2, 1. All right, oh, it is, all right, the battery just died. It ran for nine minutes and if you can see that, oh, I'll turn, I'll come back around, hold on. All right, official time there, nine minutes, 27 seconds. So that was the first test with the P191 battery. It did pretty well, I think for a three amp hour battery, nine minutes of use. I noticed around maybe the five to six minute mark, I could definitely tell the power output had definitely decreased. It didn't have as much suction power as before, but you know, it still worked up until the very last second that it, it just cut out all of a sudden. I don't know if you guys could tell, but since it's getting a little dark outside, we're gonna move the, te the second test with the P195 compact three amp hour battery into my garage with better lighting. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so we're back in the garage, better lighting here, and we're gonna just do a simple static run test with a shop vac and this P195 three amp hour battery. Now this is the compact one. So we, we tested the P191, the full size three amp hour. Now we're doing this one. So we're gonna fire up the shop vac, put on the timer, and we'll see how long this one takes to completely cut out. All right, battery's in. We're gonna start this timer in here in three, two, one. While the vacuum is running with the battery right now in the garage, I just want to kind of give a quick little PSA. It's summertime, it's hot. I know a lot of places, a lot of towns are suffering power outages from big storms. 
I highly, highly, highly suggest you guys make sure you keep your batteries charged. If it's even better if you guys have like the fan, the hybrid fan, keep this handy uh, with extra batteries because God forbid you lose power during a storm or your power company decides to cut the power because they can't supply enough electricity to your town. You want to have these batteries charged ready to go in case you need to run these, especially during hot summer nights. So uh, again, just quick little advice. I've seen a bunch of posts online saying that people were waking up in the middle of the night due to power outages and they had their fan with charged batteries nearby and they were able to sleep comfortably through the night. So hopefully that helps somebody out there. All right, let's go back into the garage and uh, see what's going on. We're about four minutes, 45 seconds. Batteries at one bar. All right, just died. 10, 16, and 20 seconds. 10, 16.20. Okay, so there you guys have it. We did the test between both three amp hour HP batteries, the compact battery, the newer version, and then the older, um, you know, fat version, whatever you want to call it. So again, the difference between the two batteries in the static runtime test in the shop vac was just under a minute. So the P191 lasted for nine minutes and 27 seconds, and the P195 compact lasted for 10 minutes, 16 seconds. So that was a little less than a minute difference between the two. Now, the P195 battery is only a few months old. I think I got that in late March, I believe. And then my older P191, that was from November or December of 2018. So only a few months uh, difference between the two. I've been using them on and off here and there for the you know, better part of a half a year now. And so I don't think battery total capacity has really changed for the older battery, the P191. So I think they were still pretty evenly stacked. One main thing people were excited to see was the performance between a single cell battery and a dual cell battery. And what I mean by that is that the new compact three amp hour battery has a single row of 21700 cells, while the older P181 has two rows of cells. Those are 18650 cells wired in parallel. So I don't know battery specifics to exactly like, you know, to the T, but from my understanding, the total amp discharge of the older battery Technically, I think because it's in parallel, is higher or it has a higher discharge rate than the single cell 21700 cells. So, to those who wanted to know the performance difference and then also now the runtime difference, this video is your proof showing you how they perform. I'll, I'll let you guys make that final decision. But my final thoughts on it uh, between the two, I, I still like the compact battery. It, it weighs a little bit less, it's a smaller package. However, the price at $79 a piece is not great. So until Ryobi comes out with a bundle for either two of them for 99 or my, preferably I think two for 89 because I think the four amp hours usually go for like two for 99, um, that $89 price would be a sweet spot and I would really, really recommend those. But at the moment, this rec video was recorded during Ryobi days 2019. You can still get the older three amp hour batteries, two of them plus a charger, a carrying bag and a free tool for $99. So that's the best thing I'm telling right now. So until then, you know, maybe hold off on buying this battery unless you just want to have the latest and greatest technology. I don't blame you. That's exactly what I did. But, you know, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I uh, also just wanted to let you guys know I do have an Amazon affiliate link down below. It links you to some Ryobi products. If you guys make a purchase, it doesn't have to be anything Ryobi related, but any purchase on Amazon, I do get a small cut of that commission and at no additional cost to you. So if you guys want to help out the channel, consider using that affiliate link when you make your next Amazon purchase. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.